Hello, folks. Welcome back to Play It Again. This is Red Clock, and we're currently playing Junior Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So basically, this is Junior Pac-Man. I don't know why I said basically. And anyway, um, yeah, he's got like a little beanie cap on that has a propeller on it that spins. And there's different settings in this game. Um, let me show you. Let me press the select button. See right there, that's the hardest setting there. You got four ghosts. Uh, one stays outside of the box and uh, it kind of has an advantage on you. Um, here's just with one ghost, which is pretty easy, too, almost too easy. And then there's two ghosts and there's three ghosts. And I think I'm going to go with the one with uh, three ghosts. So let's give this a shot. Let's get started. This is probably my favorite Pac-Man game out of all the Pac-Man in this series. Not to mention I had this at a younger age. Ooh. Whenever I was a kid. That was close. You get different items, like, there's like toys. I think most of them are like, you know, based off of toys. Like a bicycle. Whatever pellets it, it touches, the object that passes through, like the toys, um, it makes the pellets get larger. Alright, I'm getting my ass handed to me. And then whenever the pellets are larger, uh, I think they give you more points. It's a pretty big maze. Incredible graphics and sound for uh, Atari 2600, I believe. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Oh, oh. I wanted to go up. Ah, uh, that ain't fair. All right, let's see how far I can get on the easy setting, shall we? <laughs> I know, I always pick the easy setting. I'm bad at that. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Well, I'm not talking much, am I? Oh! Hello. Go down there. I think those bigger pellets slow you down, too. Whoa, they don't stay blue very long, do they? Come on, this control kind of sucks. I noticed that with most Pac-Man games, control's not always the best. Okay, I took care of everything down here. Should go across over here. Wow, this is actually pretty hard for just one ghost. <laughs> That ghost stays on you. Stays on your ass like a wet t shirt. Alright, so we beat the first level. Yeah, I like to play games on easy. I know, I'm the lazy let's player. Maybe not lazy, maybe laid back. Oh yeah, I really didn't give a description about what the pellets do and whatnot, but uh, it's Pac-Man. You all know what it is. I'm not going to assume that you're too stupid to know what Pac-Man is. Oh, I swore I pushed up. Come on, there we go. It just seems so hard to change direction in Pac-Man games for some reason for me. I don't know if it's with everybody else or what. Yeah, 
Yeah, I figured I could just put on easy and do like one long. Ooh. <laughs> I lost. On easy? Come on. That's silly. Or I really suck. Hmm. Oh well, let's give it another shot. Was gonna happen. <laughs> Thing changes directions too many times. There we go. Come on, get out. There we go. Then go back in. Ooh, a kite. I think I'll eat that. No thanks. This is weird. You can actually tell what things are in this Atari game. Instead of being weird squiggly things on the screen, you can actually make out what they actually are. Change back. All right, I think I'll make a pretty long play out of this. Not a long recording, but you know. Get in there. There you go. And usually uh, in Pac-Man games, the whenever you eat the power pellets, they, the effect shortens within each level. Or every time you... Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. Well, usually the the effect usually lasts longer in the earlier levels and kind of shortens in the later levels. Give this one last shot. This game came out in like 88 or something like that. It was on the, the later Atari games that came out. They had like the brown labels on them. Sometimes whenever I eat those power pellets, instead of after like actually going after the ghosts, a lot of times I just use that to uh, get away from the ghosts, or not get away, but like use that to get more time to eat pellets. That's my strategy. I don't know if it works the best, but that's what I use. Damn it! always notice about Pac-Man games, they always have like that whirring sound in the back. It's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I'll stop for a second. You can hear it. I don't know what that sound's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be the ghost moving or something. I don't know. I 
I just ate a drum. Yum, yum, yum. Ah! I still got some more Atari games to do, too, so... But we'll be working on my other Let's Plays as well. I think I'm gonna actually eat the ghost! <laughs> wow, this is gonna be a pretty long game. Oh, different music! I forgot about this. Ghost goes right back in and comes right back out. It's not very easy for easy setting. It's pretty difficult for actually having only one ghost. I think I already said that. One thing that's weird about Atari games, see all these lines on the side of the screen? There's some Atari games have like lines on the side of the screen for some reason. I mean, I don't know if it's some kind of glitch with the Atari when they developed the game or something, or what exactly it is. It's supposed to help the game run, which I couldn't see because it's actually more images being on the screen than there needs to be. I heard a beep. Maybe that means there's an extra life being added or something, or what? Ah! Damn it, my fault. Yeah, I think I got an extra life, because I was pretty sure I was on my last life. Losing control of Junior Pac-Man here. Wow, that wasn't very long at all. get up <laughs> I was trying kept trying to make him go up and he wouldn't go up but anyway folks yeah that's all the time I have for now thanks for watching play it again stay tuned for another part or another game have a good night